So what's up guys? In our previous lessons, we discussed the chemical properties of acids, which include their reactions with metals, bases, alkalis, and trihydrocarbonyl spores. In this lesson, we shall be focusing on some general methods of preparing acids. One common method of preparing acids is to dissolve acidic oxides in water. Now, acidic oxides are oxides of non-metals like carbon and sulfur, which dissolve in water to produce acids. These oxides are also known as acid anhydrides. Some examples of these acidic oxides are carbon 4 oxide gas, sulfur 4 oxide gas, and sulfur 6 oxide gas. Carbon 4 oxide gas can dissolve in water to form a weak acid known as trioxocarbonate 4 acid. The chemical equation for this reaction is shown here. Sulfur 4 oxide gas dissolves in water to form trioxosulfate 4 acid while sulfur 6 oxide gas dissolves in water to form tetraoxosulfate 6 acid. Also, do you remember that in one of our previous lessons, we said that atoms of different elements in the periodic table can combine together to form molecules or compounds. Now, since acids are compounds, it means that they too can be prepared by chemically combining their constituent elements. For example, the chemical formula of hydrochloric acid is HCl, and its constituent elements are hydrogen and chlorine. So, to prepare hydrogen chloride gas, hydrogen gas can be combined with chlorine gas in the presence of a catalyst, usually activated charcoal, which speeds up the rate of the reaction. The hydrogen chloride gas can then be dissolved in water to give hydrochloric acid. Another method of preparation of acids is by using a strong acid to displace a weak or more volatile acid from its salt. As we learned in one of our previous lessons, strong acids are acids that ionize completely when dissolved in water, while weak acids do not. A good example of a strong acid is hydrochloric acid, while tetraoxophosphate 5 acid is a good example of a weak acid. So to prepare a weak acid like tetraoxophosphate 5 acid, we can react its salt with a strong acid like hydrochloric acid. Can you think of a salt that can be obtained from the neutralization reaction of tetraoxophosphate 5 acid? You would agree with me that calcium tetraoxophosphate 5 is a very good example. So when hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium tetraoxophosphate 5, the weak acid, that is, tetraoxophosphate 5 acid, would be displaced out. A less volatile acid, such as tetraoxosulfate 6 acid, can also be used to displace a more volatile acid like hydrochloric acid out of its salt. To demonstrate this, we can use potassium chloride, which is a salt of hydrochloric acid. When tetraoxosulfate 6 acid reacts with potassium chloride, hydrochloric acid, which is the more volatile acid, would be displaced as shown here. A summary of our discussion thus far is that acids can be prepared by 1. Dissolving an acid and hydride in water, 2. The chemical combination of their constituent elements, and 3. Using a strong acid to displace a weak or more volatile acid from its salt. In our next lesson, we shall be talking about the amazing ways in which acids can be used. See you in the next lesson.